This has to be the most infamous ski run in Europe. This run pushed me close to the limit and was the toughest bit of on-piece skiing I have ever done. But with the confidence of my friends, I don't think he lives this, and stood next to a man in a unicorn onesie, I was ready to take on the Swiss wall. I'm sure many of you are deciding whether to take on the Swiss wall and if you have the ability to do so. Well, here's my experience. I hope it helps you decide whether this run is for you. I couldn't look up at the giant mogul filled face of one of Europe's toughest runs and turn down the opportunity to get on the chairlift up and give it a shot. The Swiss wall has a unique orange classification, so beyond a black, due to the steepness at the top and the fact it doesn't receive piece maintenance. It has 333 meters of elevation drop during its one kilometer long piste. It's narrow and extremely steep at the top, and this is where I faced the deepest moguls. This required a few jump turns to navigate and maintain control. It does widen after the top, the steepness remains, but it slowly flattens out. The run is part of the Port de Soleil ski area, accessible via the Chavanet chair. It's known for having car sized moguls up to two meters high. Between the moguls, if conditions are anything other than good, you'll be skiing on ice. The top of the slope has a 76% gradient. No wonder the peace bashers don't go near it. The run is as much a test of skill as it is a test of endurance. It took me over 10 minutes to get down. Do this run at your own pace. You're in the Alps after all. Take in the scenery, catch your breath, because this thing just keeps on going. Unfortunately for me, the friends I went up with took the chairlift back down, so they had the perfect bird's eye view of my attempt. Where's it going? I don't know. That's a rock. That's a massive rock. And when I skied straight into the side of a mogul, they were extremely supportive. <laughs> what a plonker. It was relatively quiet during my attempt, but I know it can get busy. Early in the morning will give you the best conditions and the smallest crowds. So am I glad I did it? Absolutely. Did I ski it well? Not really, no. But I got down, I loved the challenge and had fun all the way. From the moment I started the descent, I became acutely aware of what I was facing and the repercussions of a lapse in concentration or poor judgment. For a skier around my ability, it was one of those moments in life where you very much feel alive. I believe that if you are a confident skier, conditions are suitable and you don't rush, you too can take on this beast. If you're in the Port de Soleil ski area this winter, give the Swiss wall some consideration. It is absolutely worthy of the reputation it has gathered. Please let me know in the comments if you've taken on the Swiss wall or have thought about it. I'd love to hear your experience. And please subscribe for more content from the slopes. Thank you for watching.